Okay, for 11 part 2, I've copied out 11 part 1 for you down there. Okay, now we are supposed to use the result from 11 part 1 to actually uh, expand for 11 part 2. Notice that 11 part 1 is 1 minus x, while 11 part 2 is 1 plus x minus 2x. So what we need to do is we have to make use of this example, 1 minus something to the power of 6. So for me to make this term look like this term, what I do first is this. I will take... 1, then I factorize negative 1 from these two terms. So negative 1 from these terms, these two terms give me 2x squared minus x to the power of 6. So basically what I've done here is this, notice that here is 1 minus x, here I have 1 minus 2x squared minus x. So instead of having 1 minus x, I have 1 minus 2x squared minus x. So, if I use the result from above, 1 minus x, I get all this. So, I'm replacing x by 2x squared minus x. So, what I do here is this. I will have 1 minus 6, okay, times, instead of having x, I have 2x squared minus x, plus 15x squared. Instead of x squared, I have... 2x squared minus x squared. Okay, now minus 20. Instead of having x cubed, I have 2x squared minus x cubed. Plus dot 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 dot. Alright, can? Now, this one gets a bit trickier because all we want, right, is uh, to expand up to x cubed in this case. So, what I'm going to do now is this. I will separate out each of them, okay? I do it separately so that you understand what I am I doing down here, okay? So, let me just underline as I go along. So, for example, this one, okay, in green color, I get negative 6, okay, times... 2x squared minus x. So what I get here is negative 12x squared plus 6x. Notice this is the term up to x squared, this term up to x. So no problem, okay? We do not exceed, right, what they call uh, up to the term in x cubed. So no issues down there. The next one that I want to look at, okay, will be this one here. This term, 15 times 2x squared minus x. So if I write it out, it would be 15 times 2x squared minus x, bracket, square. Okay, this one, how we expand this, it will be equals to 15. Then what we get is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. 2x squared, whole thing squared, gives you 4x to the power of 4, okay? Minus 2ab, so it's minus 2ab, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4x squared, times x is minus 4x cubed. Again, plus b squared, so it is plus x squared. Then in this case, if we expand, we get 60x to the power of 4, minus 60x to the power of 3, plus 15x squared. You notice that one of them, in this case, one of these three terms do not belong there already. It is the term in 60, is this term 60x to the power of 4, because they only want us to expand up to 60x to the power of 3. So I just delete him away. Now, for the last one, let me use another color pen, negative 20 times uh, 2x squared minus x to the power of 3. So let me write that. Negative 20 times 2x squared minus x to the power of 3. In this case, if I start to expand, I get negative 20. Alright. Then, I will get here. It's a binomial expansion. Again, it's a binomial expansion within an expansion. So, I get uh, 2x squared to the power of 3 plus 3 choose 1. Okay. Then, I will write 2x squared square, alright, negative x to the power of 1, plus 3 choose 2, 2x two square to the power of 1, negative x to the power of 2, plus 3 choose 
3. 2x squared to the power of 0, 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative x to the power of 3. Alright, now here is where we have to decide, right, which terms to keep, which terms not to keep. First and foremost, if you see, x square, you open up the bracket, you get 8x to the power of 6. This guy is far too large really, x to the power of 6, so I can say that I cancel him out. Alright, then, next one, x, 2x square square, okay, you get 4x to the power of 4 times negative x is negative 4x to the power of 5. Same thing, this term is too large, we delete him away already, so we don't care. This term still can, okay, because 3 choose 2, okay, and let me see, 3 choose 2 is 3, so in this term is 3 times 2x square is 6x square times negative x square. Okay, this term also too big already. Negative x square is x square. Why is it too big? 6x square times x square is 6x to the power of 4. So actually, in reality, this guy also, we don't need to write him down already. The last term still can. 3 choose 3, alright. 3 choose 3 is 1. 1, 2x square to the power of 0 is also 1. So it's 1 times 1 times negative x cubed. Negative x cubed is negative x times negative x and negative x will give me negative x cubed. Like this. So in this case, I get out a negative 20x cubed. So if I get up all the terms I require, so from here, I'll carry on my working, is equals to 1, okay, from the green part is minus 12x squared plus 6x, from the red part I get negative 60x cubed plus 15x squared, and from the purple part I get negative 20x cubed plus dot 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 dot, this here there are still some more terms down there. And then, finally, if I simplify everything, okay, wait, I think I made a mistake there. Negative 20 times negative x cubed should give me positive 20 x cubed. So here should give me positive as well. So if I simplify everything down there, what I should get is 1 plus 6x plus 3x squared minus 40x cubed plus dot 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 and I've simplified this portion here and that concludes my example 11